what is going on guys in this video we are going to create fully functionable live audio room application so this is the home page of our application where you can give the username and start the live audio room we can share the room id so that other user can join our room we can have many audiences as we want we can see all the audience we can allow or disallow the audience we can have chat with others we can mute and unmute and also we can lock the place so this complete application we will create. So for making this app, we'll use Jigo Cloud service, which is a global communication service provider. So with Jigo Cloud, we can build powerful and interaction app with voice and video chat API. So this has different products like you can see video call, voice call, live streaming, in-app chat. And also in the developer section, we have documentation, UI kits. So by writing less line of codes, we can integrate Jigo Cloud service. In this video, we are going to use live audio room. So let's get started with new Android Studio project. Click on new project, select empty activity, this is Jetpack Compose activity, click on next. Let's give the application name audio box and click on finish. Minimum SDK let it, minimum SDK let it be 8.0, build configuration language let it be recommended one. Click on finish. Till our project is created, let's go to Jigo Cloud and create the project there. You can click the link in the description so that you will get 10,000 free minutes if you create the account from that link. You can click on sign up over here. Here you have to give your details and create account. Once account is created, you can do login. So I have already created account, so I will log in. So once you log in, you will be on this interface. Let's click on create your project. You can select any use case for your app, video call, video conference, live streaming. For this video, we are doing live audio room. So let's click on live audio room. And below here, click on next. Now we have to give the project name, let's say audio box. And here you can see you can start with UI kits or SDK. If we do with UI kits, we don't have to write the code for the UI. We can integrate easily. So let's click on start with UI kits. So our project is being created. Let's get back in the Android studio. Let's run it and test it. Either it is created correctly or not. So here we can see hello Android. That means it is created correctly. So in main activity, we will remove all this composable and also we will remove this. So in Jigo Cloud also our project is created. Now here we can select our framework we are using for Android. So let's click on Android and you can see demo over here. Click on save and start integration over here. Now here you can see app ID and app sign this thing we require. So let's keep these keys in the constant. So in our application, let's create a new class, content class. Let's select object and give the name key constants. And first value will be app ID that will be long. Let's copy from here, paste it. Second value will be app sign. That will be string. Copy from here and paste it. These are required and important. Let's close this now. Now you can click on quick start to start. So here it will show the documentation how we can integrate UI kits. You can do step by step. Here we have integrate the SDK. So if we have Gradle plugin 7.1.0 or later, we can use this. I'll copy these two lines and go to Gradle script settings.gradle and in dependency resolution management i will paste it since this is a kotlin file what we have to do is we have to pass url in a parameter like this and you can close over here this should be double inverted same for this so we have added maven urls click on sync now let's go to another step this is for earlier than 7.0 let's skip this now we have to write this dependency let's copy this dependency and go to app level build at gradle and paste in the dependencies here we have to give in bracket click on sync now it will download the dependency let's close this build.gradle and settings.gradle now we can start using the library you can see over here we have java and kotlin let's select kotlin so here what it is doing we have to just add a fragment and in that fragment we have to pass some values so that it will automatically create the ui for us so here you can see we require app id that we already have we require app sign that we already have user id username and room id is required so from where we will get since this we will integrate on our existing app we have to create our own user id so we have to create our login so that we can have username user id and room id we can generate randomly so this we will do you can integrate the login with firebase google facebook anything you can do but for this video i am creating a fake login that means i will take directly the username so what i will do i will create a composable here mock login let's say and from here i will call this mock login let me arrange this if i run the app there will be nothing so there is nothing let's start designing i'll create a simple ui it won't be fancy so i will take column let's give modifier to this column modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size 
I'll center everything so horizontal alignment alignment dot center vertical arrangement arrangement dot center in this column I will add some text field and button so first thing our app name will be there let's say audio box let's give the font size 32 SP import it and font family I will give as font family dot mono space if I run it you can see audio box now below this I will give some space about modifier dot height 16 dp import the dp after this i will give a text field so outline text field value will be empty for now value change let's not implement anything for now and label will be label equal to text let's say room id first text field will be room id let's run it you can see room id so here if you type it won't come because we have to create a variable so let's create a variable room id by remember mutable state of empty string let's import this remember get value and set value and now we can pass in a value as room id and on value change will be room id equals to it now if i run you can see i can take the input create another variable for username let's copy this same thing paste it it will be username and also copy this text field and paste it below value will be username on value change username equal to it and label will be username if i run you can see room id and username let's add a spacer 16 dp same height below this i will add button so button on click we will implement later text will be start start audio box and another button will be join audio box one will be the host who will start and other can join if i run now so our UI is almost ready room ID we can take username we can take we can click on start and we can click on join we can do anything now what we have to do we have to pass this room ID username either it is a host or it is not host to this activity you can see here we require user ID username is host and room ID this is a live audio room activity so we have to pass these values to this activity so for that first we will take the value from the user and then we'll pass so here in on click what we will do we have to pass so how we can do that when we click on start audio box that means we are host so that time we will generate the room id when we are joining we have to input but when we start we have to generate it automatically so how we can generate let's create a simple utility function function generate room id it will return string here we will write simple logic which will return five digit random number so let's say variable id equals to string builder we can append so while id dot length is less than 5 so we'll go till 5 and generate a random number so random it will be from java util class dot next int till 10 so it should be 0 to 9 that's why we are giving 10 now we'll append this random number to id so let's say it generated 4 first then it will append another random number then another then another then another till 5 so it will generate a random 5 digit number we'll return id dot to string so this function will generate room id so whenever we click on start audio works we don't have to write room id it will automatically generate so what we will do room id equals to generate room id username we will take from the user and then we'll start audio box so we have to pass to this activity so what we will do we'll create an intent so intent for intent we require context let's create a context over here variable context equals to local context dot current so in jetpack compose we can get context like this so for intent we require context to where we are going we are going to create a new activity so let's first create a new activity here it will be empty views activity we'll use fragment that's why we are using empty views activity click on empty views activity live audio room activity click on finish so from main activity we'll go to live audio room activity class dot java so we have to pass some values through this intent so what are the values user id and username will be same for now we'll pass one thing host and room id so here what we will do intent dot put extra will give the name user id and it will be username intent dot put extra room id it will be room id whatever we have generated intent dot put extra one more thing is is host if we are starting it should be true so is host will be true now we have to start the activity so context dot start activity intent so here what happened when we click on start audio works 
it will generate a random room id it will take username and it will start this activity that is live audio room activity for now nothing is there if you run the application let's say let's just give a username tony start it crashed why if you go to lockcat we have to use theme so let's go to manifest and here in this activity this activity we have just created so what we have to do we have to pass theme app compat light because we are using jetpack compose theme over here and we have created activity without jetpack compose so that's why we need this if i run now give the username start now you can see we are in the live audio room activity but we have not written any code over there so let's click on back and let's write the code so what we will write here we don't require these things let's remove this let's go to design first click on split and here first thing what we will do let's make this constant layout as a linear layout here i will add one text view and the fragment so in the text view i will just show the room id and in the fragment i'll just pass this fragment so this zigo cloud fragment will be there i'll just make a fragment container so let's give orientation as vertical and let's give a text view match parent wrap content id will be a room id text view let's say and let's say text for now room id so it will look like this text align let it be center so here it will show let's give padding 16 dp we have given the text and i need one container so i will use linear layout match parent match parent id will be let's say fragment container and orientation you can give anything let's give horizontal so here this will be the text view and below one is fragment container which will contain our zigo cloud ui now let's integrate so let's go to live room activity so here first thing i will do i will take i will take room id text view so to find view id r dot text view r dot id dot room id text view and i will assign it as room id and we will take that id from intent so intent dot get string extra here we have passed room id as a key so this room id we are passing from this main activity let's run and see if you type username tony start you can see room id is generated but it is hidden beside this action bar so what we can do we can give the margin around margin top let's say 10 dp if i run now username start you can see our room id is automatically generated randomly so we are starting again randomly generated so it is working value is being passed in this activity now what we have to do we have to just copy this code from here here you can see we have this add fragment method let's copy this and paste it below somewhere after on create here we have to pass the value one by one so let's import this first import now here app id so where we have stored app id key constants dot app id app sign will be key constants dot app sign user id will take from intent so intent dot get string extra what what key we have passed you can see user id user id username will do same and host it will be is host we have given and room id let's check the spelling it will be room id that's it we have got the app id we have got the everything and we'll pass to fragment manager so in on create we'll just call this add fragment it should do the work that's it with this line of code we have integrated now we can start live room let's run it and test it let's give the username tony if you click on start we have to give the permission to record the audio so let's give this you can see we have the room id we have the places where user can join this is tony and i am the host so there are only one member you can see over here as of now i am and you can click on this microphone to unmute and you can speak but we have to join another user also so what i will do for now i will leave this and we'll implement this join audio box also so how we can do that same way here this is join audio box in the button on click room id this time it will not be generated we will take from the user because we are joining the audio room of other people so we have to enter the room id room id will take from the user i'll copy these things only from here and paste it user id will be username room id will be room id is host will be false so this is important is host will be false and other things will be same now what i will do i'll run an another emulator so let's say i'll run an emulator 2 so you can see there are two emulators here this is one i will start from here let's say i'll start 
and you can join from here so this device is a different device i can join from here let's say room id as 74227 you can see over here we have the room id and give the username spider and click on join because we are joining from here so let's join you can see tony is host over here you can click on apply to take seat so you can click over here so for the host notification will come and host can agree or disagree so if host want this as an audience you can click on agree immediately it will be there so now if i start speaking from here so to enable the microphone what we have to do in the emulator in the device it will automatically work and in microphone you have to just enable this so for the board device i will do that and we can speak now let's click on this hello mic testing mic testing from this device we can hear the voice of this device you can do same over here mic testing from second from device second device second you can device. see you can, you can see. see so in this way you can message also from here let's say hi tony and you can receive here message hi spidey you can do anything you can leave from here you can add other participant if, if i run it on emulator 3 we can have three participants also so any number of device you can have participants you have 10,000 free minutes so you can use that so in this way you can integrate the jigo cloud live audio room in your application with less line of codes with their ui kits this is magic of the jigo cloud so you can click on the link in the description and you can create account from that you will get 10,000 free minutes so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye